Hey, what's up everybody? Hammerheart Metal Reviews here once again doing another discography countdown of one of my favorite bands. Today we are going to be talking about Vintersorg. This of course is some melodic, viking, folk, progressive, black metal, call it whatever you want, uh, from Sweden. Just really their own unique blend of these genres. Started out as a one-man band, the man calls himself Vintersorg. Uh, these days also has an additional guitarist that's been in the lineup for quite some time. Of course, when they're playing live shows, they would have different session musicians in there as well. But yeah, there's a lot of different eras to this band. Like their early career was very like folk black metal. Then they went a completely different direction and put out a few like very progressive metal albums. And then their later stuff is more like kind of a combination of the two with some progressive, very melodic stuff mixed with some folk and mixed always with some little elements of black metal. I definitely would not call Vintersorg a black metal band at all, but there is definitely the elements of it in there. Like, Vintersorg is just a master of writing very catchy vocal lines. Like, the choruses, you will just stick in your ear. Like most of the lyrics are in Swedish, so I don't even understand what he's singing about or what he's saying, but you can still sing along because the choruses are that goddamn catchy. So anyways, I'm going to rank... All their albums, there's 10 of them, from my least favorite down to my favorite. I would also be remiss not to at least mention their EP, their debut EP before their first full length. It was called Hednix Shirtad, and is absolutely amazing. I don't include EPs in these rankings, but if I did, this one would probably be pretty close to the top. There's only like four or five songs. It's very short, but it really tells you what you're in store for with their early albums. So if you haven't heard them before, you should definitely go check out that EP. It's a great starting point. Sorry, my list completely fell off, so this video is already going off the rails, but nonetheless, never mind that. Let's get right into it now, counting down from 10 down to 1. So coming in at number 10, my least favorite Venture Sorg album from 2002 is Visions from the Spiral Generator. This was right in their very progressive experimental stage. Putting this last does not mean that I don't like it. All of Venture Sorg's albums are still pretty solid, like I would still give this one easily like a 7.5 out of 10. It's just my least favorite because I like some of the other ones more. This one is definitely one of their most progressive and experimental, very space themed. Definitely a lot of weird parts to this album. Like it takes a lot of listens to even really kind of digest everything that's going on. Uh, Steve DiGiorgio does some guest bass on here and that is absolutely amazing. His bass work, of course, if you know Steve DiGiorgio, he's been in so many bands, Death, Testament, just to name a couple, but yeah, so many fucking bands. He's amazing, he really suits this progressive metal well. Uh, my favorite songs on here, A Metaphysical Drama, The Explorer, Star Guarded Coronation is really cool. His vocals are a little higher pitched in this era as opposed to early on, it was very baritone. Um, there's still maybe some, a little bit of folk elements in here, but not really that much compared to other eras. So anyways, yeah, that's coming in at number 10. Let's move it right along. Coming up next at number 9, actually the follow-up album to that from 2004, The Focusing Blur. Once again, Steve DiGiorgio does guest bass on here, and it's awesome. There's great riffs on this album. This is probably even more like avant-garde than Visions from the Spiral Generator. It's very close in ranking. Like, there's even some, like, spoken word and narr narration in some part. But it really, he does make it work, Venture Sorg. Um, still considered a very progressive and experimental album. I just rank it slightly above Visions from Spiral Generator because I like the songs a little bit more, but very close in style and in overall ranking. Favorite songs on here, A Sphere in a Sphere, Curtains, A Microscopical Macrocosm, the chorus in there is so goddamn catchy, especially for such a long title, it keeps repeating that and it's really fucking catchy. But anyways, yeah, that's in at number nine. Let's move it right along. Coming in at number 8 from 2011 is Yord Pools. So this is in their later stage era. They had kind of put out a trilogy of albums that were all to do with different elements of nature. This one is about the element Earth. And uh, yeah, this is kind of a return to the roots, bringing in some more folk elements. Definitely a more modern production than the old stuff. But yeah, bringing in the folk roots, kind of... Yeah, just uh, really still catchy choruses. Back to singing all in Swedish now, as opposed to the last couple albums, there was a lot of English on there. 
Um, all in all, this is easily like an 8 out of 10. It's a very enjoyable listen. Favorite songs on here. Clipor Ox Scar, Varld Statets Fanfar, Mork Nebulosa, Skog and Silver. Forgive my Swedish pronunciations. I do not know how to say all this stuff, but uh, nonetheless, absolutely awesome album in at number eight. Coming up next at number seven is actually the album right before that in 2007, Solens Rotter. So this one is after the progressive stage elements, like there's still a lot of progression in this album, but it's a little bit of a return to like the Viking and folk roots, a lot less proggy than the preceding albums. But yeah, the vocal performance is still fucking amazing. Once again, this is back to Swedish lyrics, so I'm going to mispronounce my favorite songs here, but uh, I'll try. My favorite songs are Dop Dian Yul Kelska Show, Spirarok Grar, and Naturans Mistar. But all in all, solid album. This is a really nice return to form after maybe the couple experimental progressive albums didn't quite hit the mark as some of their other albums. This one was a really nice return to putting out some solid tunes. Coming up next at number six from 2014 is Not Your Ball. This is a, the third album in the trilogy, or maybe there was going to be a fourth album as well about the elements of nature. This one is all about fire. This is a very epic and grandiose album. It's a great continuation of the sound that they developed on Yord Poles and the album after that, which I'll talk about after. Um, but yeah, they really kind of mastered their sound of their later stage of their career by this point. It's really very consistent album after consistent album. Very modern production, but still always catchy ass courses, great riffs. Uh, favorite tracks on here, Orasco Oxat, La Gornos Rob, Rimdins Bernard Uar, or Darmani, or Darmani, I, I'm mispronouncing these, fuck, I thought I knew how to say some of these just from the courses of the songs, but now when I'm just reading it off the list, I can't really pronounce them, so forgive me all my Swedish viewers out there, but nonetheless, Not Your Ball, very great album, 8.5 out of 10, coming in at number 6. Now into the top 5, these are all fucking amazing, at number 5 from 2012 is Orkan, this was the second album in the earth elements nature elements sorry but this one is all focused about like air and hurricanes and shit like that and yeah once again very great continuation of the same sound that they developed on yord poles and then went on to do a notcher ball great blend of like their older folk style with still a little bit of progressive influence but uh yeah this album has really great solos really great musicianship and just really catchy ass songs opening track Yastid is great Polar Naughton, title track Orkan, and Norskin Seder is a great like little ballad with some nice female vocals in there. Just all in all, really solid album. Up next at number four, I'm going old school with uh, their second album, Oda Markinson from 1999. This was still in their early, like very folk, black metal, Viking stages, and this is just a goddamn amazing album. Um, this His vocal delivery on here compared to the later stages, it's very baritone for the clean. Still lots of raspy black metal singing, but the choruses on here are still just so catchy. Like, Vinter Sorg just knows how to write a great fucking folk chorus. Favorite songs on here, Asphalt Vinter. The title track, Ode to Son, is so catchy. Ode to Son. I'm not going to try to sing the rest because I don't know how to speak Swedish, but uh, Manskins Man and Ofer Bakken. All great fucking songs. Absolutely amazing album. I give this one like a 9 out of 10. Moving on. Coming in at number 3 from the year 2000 is Cosmic Genesis. This was their kind of first album in their progressive metal stages. But this one is fucking awesome. There's still some Swedish songs but started doing a lot in English. His vocal delivery changed from the baritone to a little higher pitch. But it's still got some of the baritone stuff in there as well. Really catchy ass songs, great songwriting, very space themed, very progressive. This is the first album that wasn't just a one man band. He brought in a second guitarist. And yeah, the songs on here are just so fucking great. Like, I could have easily put this album higher. It's an absolute amazing accomplishment in progressive metal. If you've never heard this album, please go listen to it. Favorite tracks on here Astral and Arcane, Algol, title track Cosmic Genesis. A dialogue with the stars and the great my favorite song on the album is the closing ballad um the enigmatic spirit it's just fucking gorgeous his voice sounds so goddamn good like Vinter Sorg is one of the best vocalists 
in metal for sure, at least in my opinion. He's got a very unique voice. He did go on to Borknagar as well. He put out a lot of albums with them, but I think his real he really hits his peaks in his solo stuff because he just like can really do what he wants and it's fucking awesome. And Cosmic Genesis is amazing. So that just leaves two more. Coming in at number two is actually their most recent album from 2017, Till Feels Del 2, or Till Feels Part 2. So this is a throwback to the debut album. Really, even though it's a newer album, very modern production, but really wanted to recapture the original folk sound from his first album. It's a really great folky atmosphere, and it's just a perfect culmination of everything that Vintersorg is about, like mixing the old style with more modern production. And just such great songs on here. This is a double album. The first disc is like the Teal Feels Part 2 album. And then the second disc, uh, I can't remember what they titled it, but it's just like four tracks of redone older songs that were written during like the old folk period, but they never recorded. And then he just like put new lyrics to it and just uh, re-recorded these old songs. And they sound so fucking good. Like they were written 20 goddamn years ago. But so many good songs on this album. Yoko Vaktaren, Lavin, Winter Storm is fucking amazing. Fialets Mektiga Mur, Portalen, Svartmane is a great fucking ballad as well. Just like I could name every fucking song on this album. Yeah, it's like 75 minutes if you're combining the two discs, but it's all amazing. I do not skip any songs on this. It's fucking awesome. This was my number one favorite album from 2017, and it still holds up. I fucking love this album to bits. And it's not even number one. I have one more ahead of that. My favorite Venture Sorg album is actually his debut from 1998, Till Fields. Absolutely amazing folk black metal album. The vocals are so baritone and so like rich in texture. Just so goddamn excellent. There's not too much metal out there like this. This was essentially a one man band at this point. Still, like, he did bring in like female vocals for. A couple songs and like the instrumentation is just great the atmosphere is so folky and awesome and the vocal lines even back here in 1998 they're so goddamn catchy favorite songs on here for kung ok fosterland as the tider yukyeon and of course the title track teal feels comes in with the nice piano intro that black metal scream and then goes to the chorus teal feels teal feels teal feels Yells. So fucking awesome. If you've never heard Venture Sorg, just go YouTube the song Till Feels. Absolutely amazing. That'll let you know whether you're gonna like any of it or not. That's probably my favorite Venture Sorg song off of my favorite Venture Sorg album. Anyways, these are just my opinions as usual. Let me know down below what your favorite Venture Sorg album is. What did you think of my list? Give me a like, give me a subscribe. Until next time, have a heart metal reviews. Out!